today I had a realization. I had filmed already, let's say 10 videos, me talking in front of the camera and I somehow felt always nervous about rewatching it and editing it so I just left them in my folder, in my album, in my phone and I never watched them again and today I said like I'm stopping with this right now like this has to change I'm watching my videos editing them and posting them and while watching my own videos seeing myself talking to the camera I felt so uncomfortable I felt so weird and I didn't really know in the beginning what it was and I was asking myself am I judging myself am I judging my outer appearance my looks am I judging my English am I judging the words that I use am I judging the lighting that I use whatever I was asking myself why am I feeling so uncomfortable watching my own videos and I come to the conclusion that first of all I thought it's probably from everything a little bit that might is also true but the main reason why I felt uncomfortable was definitely because I was not acting like myself. <laughs> I cannot explain even how weird this is but I was not acting like myself at all so I saw myself talking to the camera and I thought who is this person this is not me physically yeah it's me but the words that I used the way of talking that I tried to do it was definitely not me and yeah I want to be a youtuber I want to talk about things that are in my mind talk about self-development maybe motivate and inspire others to do better or to go through difficulties in life and just share my experiences but i did it in a way that was not me and that's the point where i always say i disagree with the theory of acting as you were already or acting as you had it already these manifestations because yes act like you are already but don't act like a different person so i used to watch a lot of videos from girls that they are doing the same that i want to do that they resonate with me a lot and i literally copied them and it sounds so weird to be honest but what i want to tell you is that i unconsciously copied these other girls that I kept watching and that they inspired me because I wanted to be where they are or being in a similar situation where they are and that's the point I want to be in a similar situation of what they reached I aspire to come there as well but I will never be in the exact same position as any other person in this world neither so will you because I am me, you are you, she is her, he is him. And that's where I'm just disagreeing with the theory of fake it till you make it. Yes, again, yes, fake it till you make it. Pretend like you have already this kind of energy that other people have, which are already where you want to be. but. Don't lose yourself in the process. You are still unique. You are you and I am me. And I just saw myself in this video and I was thinking like, who's that? That's not like the energy, the, the way of talking. It was just so cringe. Even cringe, I don't use cringe. I don't know where this word comes from. Maybe I picked it up somewhere, but it's something that I was aware today and that's why I'm doing this video right now. I want to completely be transparent. I just want to be as I feel like being in the moment. I just want to be as I would be now your best friend or any friend of yours and I'm talking to you. That's exactly how I am and not different. I want to be where other girls are or in a similar position but in my way. And 
I think it's so important to not abandon ourselves in the whole process of getting where we want to be because again we are unique, we are beautiful, we are wonderful and our own way is the way that is aligning with our true essence and as long as we are abandoning or neglecting our true essence it feels exhausting we are feeling tired i felt exhausting i felt tired of watching my own video and that's why i want to start again that's why i'm just here sharing my experience that i just had with my own video that i never uploaded and i probably never will upload because it's just not me and everything that is not aligned with our true essence with who we really are with who we are in the daily day who we what we are aspiring what are our values in our true essence hard feels exhausting feels like we are running against the wall and we are running again against the wall that's how it feels when things are not really aligned with who we are and that's what i felt everything that feels draining that feels exhausting to us mentally is definitely not our true essence and doesn't align with who we actually are even if we think we are but if it's taking energy and not adding energy it's not for us it's definitely not for me and it's not for you if something is draining you and I'm here talking about mentally exhaustion, mental exhaustion or um, psychological being tired, being exhausted, being drained mentally means when your body is well rested, your physical body is well rested, is healthy and has in your no reason to be tired but you just wake up and you feel already exhausted, you don't know really who you are. The difference is to be physically exhausted. Let's say if you're trekking for example a mountain and when you reach the top you just feel exhausted. That's a complete different exhaustion. It's purely physical and it has nothing to do with your mental exhaustion. And also I want to separate here the fact of being uncomfortable. Yes, be uncomfortable in your life it's gonna help you it's gonna learn you it's gonna teach you a lot but to be uncomfortable is not equal with losing energy you can be uncomfortable and through this uncomfort gain energy because it's just who you truly are and it's just who or what you are valuing and what's your essence it aligns with your essence so you're uncomfortable but you gain energy if you're uncomfortable and you lose energy that's where we don't want to be that's not for us i've been in both places i've been in a place where i would wake up in the morning and i would have zero energy and i would just ask myself like for what am I here? What is my purpose in this world? What, what is my passion? I don't know who I am. And in that moment of my life, it was really hard to, to get through this and to go through the storm. So everything that is not aligned with us or our true essence drains us is draining it takes away energy instead of adding to it and i'm not talking here about physical energy or working with your shadows or being uncomfortable i'm here now just addressing the being drained mentally like you do something your body is healthy you're well rested you're doing something and you just feel tired immediately you feel drained and exhausted that's where we are not meant to be and it's so good to know this because with this realization you actually get to know yourself and you actually know okay maybe you don't know who you are yet but you minimum know this is what i am not it doesn't give me energy it's not for me and to cover the part of being uncomfortable. Yes, I want to be uncomfortable. I want to be uncomfortable in 
as many aspects in my life as possible because I know and I've experienced to be uncomfortable is actually the best thing you can do as long as it's an uncomfortable and gaining energy. So you can be uncomfortable and gain energy in the same time and you can be uncomfortable and lose energy in the same time. I have experienced both and I know when I'm uncomfortable and I'm gaining energy, I know this is aligned with my true essence, with my values. This is how I get to know myself. And I'm losing energy while being in an uncomfortable situation or doing something that is uncomfortable. That's when I'm neglecting myself. That's when I'm abandon abandoning my true essence. And that's where I don't want to be. That's where I want to be to get to know who am I not, but that's not where I want to be all my life. And that's what happened when I saw this video is like, yeah, I like to be in front of the camera. I love to talk about these topics, but I thought like, why is it so exhausting for me to look at this video? And um, I will try it now with the next video and I will see if it feels different, but that's my first try and you are live with me. I'm going to try this out and I'm going to get to know myself and with this realization to to know okay if it gives me energy it's meant for me it's my essence if it doesn't it's not for me and it's just not even meant for my life with this realization i can go so much further and i can work with i can get to know myself i'm sure everyone wants to be in this situation and I've been in on both sides. I've been on the side of waking up in the morning and feel exhausted, wondering who, what am I for in this world? What's my purpose? What do I do? And this is so draining. This situation is so draining and it's important to get through this situation. And also I've been already into a situation where I would wake up and I'm full of energy and I think I have found my passion, I have found my purpose. But after just a short time, I realized that's actually not my passion. I think the, the intention behind is not my passion. The intention behind was material things, the money that I get through it, but it was definitely not aligned with my true essence it was definitely not aligned with who I, who i am truly because it just took away of energy again after a couple of months and here i am now again not knowing who i am what i want i wake up in the morning and i don't know what's my purpose in this world and what am I supposed to do? I know now kind of, okay, this is fun for me. This does not feel good for me. And from here on, I'm working. I'm getting baby steps forward to get to know myself and to experience the whole spectrum of possibilities. What can I be? What I want to be? What feels right for me? What doesn't? And if it's YouTube or if this is again another construct that I'm building myself or in my mind, I don't know, but I want to try it because it feels good for me to talk, to communicate. It feels good for me to be in front of the camera and be easy going and just be talking. I like to talk. I like to talk, I like to have fun, I like to smile, I like to meet new people and I'm gonna try new things out and I'm getting to know myself. I'm here to talk about these topics because I feel like not many girls are actually sitting in front of the camera and saying, hey listen, I didn't know who I am and I still don't know who I am. I don't know what's my purpose. I'm gonna find it out because I know there are so many girls out there, so many ladies, also guys that they don't know their purpose. And with sharing this, I just hope that maybe you're interested in listening to it, maybe not, it's fine. I'm just sharing what I like to share and I'm just sharing also my journey to get to know myself, 
to find my passion, to find my purpose. I welcome you to come on this journey with me, try out things and if you're interested, give me a like, subscribe, comment, if not, don't. Thanks for watching, I love you so much already without even knowing you and I will see you maybe in the next video.